Breaking news from Tehran, Iran has just unveiled a weapon the world wasn't ready for, the Fatah II hypersonic missile, a system so fast it could redefine modern warfare. Tonight, we uncover the secrets behind this mysterious missile, why experts say it could change the global balance of power, and how it's sending shockwaves across the world. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most shocking defense revelations of the year, Iran's newly unveiled Fatah II hypersonic missile. In a world where speed defines dominance, this system has ignited debate, fear, and fascination across global military circles. For years, Iran has been working to develop missiles that can penetrate advanced air defenses, and now with the Fatah II, they claim to have achieved a breakthrough that even major powers are taking seriously. Official footage released by Iranian state media shows a sleek black and white missile lifting off with immense thrust, its plume cutting through the sky. The unveiling ceremony was led by Iran's top defense officials, who described the Fatah II as the pinnacle of indigenous engineering. In this video, we'll break down how this missile works, what makes it hypersonic, how it compares to American and Russian systems, and why its debut has alarmed analysts from Washington to Tel Aviv. So grab your seat, because the story of the Fatah II is more than just about a missile, it's about power, pride, and the race for supremacy in the skies. The origins of the Fatah II trace back nearly a decade when Iran began quietly investing in next-generation missile technology under a veil of secrecy. After years of sanctions that cut Tehran off from Western components, the Iranian defense industry had no choice but to rely on domestic innovation. Engineers at the Aerospace Industries Organization and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Division collaborated to design a weapon that could bypass every known interception system. Their challenge was monumental, achieve sustained hypersonic velocity, above Mach 5, while maintaining precision and stability. Early prototypes reportedly struggled with heat resistance and flight control, but continuous trials in remote regions of Iran helped refine the design. By 2023, Iran introduced the first generation Fatah missile, capable of Mach 13 speeds, and soon after engineers began work on the improved Fatah 2. This second variant promised greater maneuverability, faster acceleration, and a smaller radar cross section. According to Iranian defense statements, the missile incorporates advanced composite materials in a next-generation solid fuel engine, allowing instant launch readiness. Although independent verification is limited, satellite imagery and leaked technical notes suggest Iran has made genuine progress in hypersonic propulsion. The Fatah II, they claim, is not a prototype, it's an operational deterrent. To understand why the Fatah II is making headlines, we first need to decode what hypersonic actually means. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound, roughly 6-100 kmbush, and they can maneuver unpredictably in flight. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow predictable parabolic paths, hypersonic glide vehicles skim through the upper atmosphere, altering course to dodge radars and interceptors. Iran claims the Fatah II can reach speeds near Mach 15 and execute mid-flight maneuvers, giving it a huge edge over legacy defense systems. Its reported range exceeds 1,500 kilometers, putting regional adversaries within striking distance in mere minutes. The missile is believed to use an advanced guidance package combining satellite navigation and onboard AI based trajectory correction. What makes it particularly concerning for military planners is its alleged ability to carry both conventional and specialized warheads. Though Iran insists it's for deterrence, such versatility raises questions about escalation risks. If these claims are accurate, the Fatah II places Iran in an elite club alongside Russia and China, nations capable of developing true hypersonic weapons that could outpace current missile defenses like the US Patriot or Israel's RO-3. The Fatah II isn't just fast, it's unpredictable. Globally, the hypersonic race is dominated by three names, the United States, Russia, and China. Yet Iran's entry with the Fatah II has surprised many. While Washington is still testing prototypes like the A-183A, and Moscow deploys systems such as the Avangard and Kinjal, Iran's breakthrough signals a major leap for a country under decades of embargo. Analysts argue that Tehran may have learned from observing both Russian and Chinese development models, focusing on smaller, cost-effective platforms instead of massive strategic systems. The Fatah II's design suggests a hybrid approach part glide, vehicle, part ballistic missile, allowing speed without sacrificing range. Western experts caution that Iranian claims may be exaggerated, but even partial success would reshape the strategic landscape of the Middle East. The psychological impact alone that Iran could possess near unstoppable weapons boosts its deterrence without firing a shot. Furthermore, its regional adversaries, including Israel and Saudi Arabia, now face a new calculus. Can their air defenses handle something that travels faster than Mach 10 and changes course mid-flight? As we'll see next, this missile's unveiling wasn't just about showing hardware. It was a carefully staged message to the world. 
Every missile launch tells a political story, and the Fatah II is no exception. Iran's leadership unveiled the weapon during a high-profile ceremony attended by President Ibrahim Raisi and IRGC commanders. Cameras captured banners proclaiming, power of the Islamic Republic, clearly aimed at domestic audiences and international rivals. Experts say the timing was deliberate, coinciding with escalating tensions and ongoing sanctions debates. By showcasing a hypersonic system, Tehran sent a signal despite isolation, its defense program continues to advance. The message to the West was equally calculated, that deterrence through self-reliance is now a reality. Domestically, it boosted national pride and reinforced the government's narrative of technological independence. Iranian media highlighted the event as proof that homegrown science could rival global powers. While foreign observers debated the missile's authenticity, the symbolism worked. Iran dominated defense headlines for days. This launch wasn't merely about unveiling new metal, it was about projecting resilience. The Fatah II became a statement of defiance, ambition, and progress all at once. Whether it truly matches its claimed capabilities, it has already achieved a different kind of victory, strategic perception. Let's dive deeper into the technology itself. The Fatah II reportedly uses a dual-stage propulsion system powered by advanced solid fuel motors. This allows rapid ignition and minimal launch preparation time, a crucial advantage in modern conflict scenarios. The missile's body features heat-resistant carbon composites that can withstand temperatures above 3,000 degrees Celsius, vital for sustained hypersonic travel. Engineers claim it uses a movable nozzle design to enhance maneuverability and stability during atmospheric re-entry. Iranian sources also highlight a smart seeker head, possibly a radar infrared hybrid system, improving accuracy against mobile or defended targets. The reported circular error probability, or CEP, is under 10 meters, making it highly precise for strategic strikes. The Fatah II's length is estimated at around 13 meters, with a launch weight of roughly 7 tons. While independent experts cannot confirm all details, satellite imagery of testing sites supports the claim that Iran has conducted genuine hypersonic flight trials. Whether or not it has reached match 15, even partial hypersonic speed gives the missile a significant edge. The combination of speed, precision, and maneuverability makes it a formidable deterrent, one that may redefine regional air, defense doctrines for years to come. The introduction of the Fatah II has dramatically altered perceptions of power in the Middle East. For decades, Israel maintained air defense superiority through its Aero, Iron Dome, and David Sling systems. But a hypersonic weapon capable of unpredictable flight paths challenges those defenses. If operational, the Fatah II forces adversaries to rethink deterrence and preemption strategies. It also strengthens Iran's influence over regional allies, showing that technological parity with great powers is no longer out of reach. Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states are reportedly reviewing procurement plans for advanced interceptors, while Israel is accelerating research into next-generation laser systems to counter such threats. Meanwhile, global players like Russia and China may see Iran's progress as validation of their own hypersonic development strategies. For the United States, it's a reminder that missile defense remains one of the toughest challenges of modern warfare. The Fatah II might never be used in battle, but its existence shifts the psychological landscape, deterrence through uncertainty, the balance of fear, once dominated by nuclear warheads, now tilts towards speed. In the hypersonic era, whoever controls velocity controls influence. The international reaction to the Fatah II announcement was swift. Western defense analysts expressed skepticism, but also concern. Pentagon officials acknowledged they were monitoring Iran's claims closely, emphasizing that verification was still ongoing. Media outlets in Europe framed it as a technological surprise, noting that even smaller nations can now access advanced materials and computational tools once limited to superpowers. Russia publicly congratulated Iran, while China's state media called it a, a strategic step forward. In contrast, Israeli officials warned that such weapons could destabilize the region mass produced. NATO's think tanks began reassessing the pace at which hypersonic weapons are spreading globally, calling for new international norms or treaties. The key worry isn't just capability, it's unpredictability. Hypersonic missiles compress decision time. Leaders might have mere minutes to respond. That raises the risk of miscalculation. For policymakers, the Fatah II serves as both a wake-up call and a case study technology once thought exclusive to major powers is rapidly proliferating. Whether Iran's version matches the hype or not, the mere perception of capability alters strategic behavior worldwide, and that alone makes it significant. The unveiling of the Fatah II may just be the beginning. Iranian defense officials have hinted at follow-on projects, including the possible development of air, launched or submarine, launched hypersonic variants. If realized, that would mark a massive leap in operational flexibility. Terran's defense doctrine emphasizes deterrence through survivability. 
meaning missiles that can be launched from anywhere at any time. With minimal warning beyond weapons, this progress reflects a broader investment in research infrastructure, new wind tunnels, material labs, and computational centers dedicated to hypersonic aerodynamics. Regional intelligence reports suggest that Iran's collaboration with academic institutions has intensified with a focus on propulsion and thermal shielding. While sanctions continue to limit access to cutting-edge components, indigenous substitutes are improving fast. Experts believe Iran will likely test multiple prototypes before achieving mass production, but the learning curve is steep and the motivation is enormous. The FATA 2 serves as both a deterrent and a technological stepping stone, propelling Iran into conversations once reserved for global powers. Whether others like it or not, Iran is now part of the hypersonic club, and that changes everything. As the dust settles on the FATA 2's debut, one thing is clear the age of hypersonic competition has officially gone global. What was once the domain of superpowers is now accessible to regional states with enough determination and scientific ambition. Iran's FATA 2 might not be as advanced as Russia's Avangard or China's DFZF, but its symbolism is immense. It demonstrates that innovation thrives even under restriction. For the world, this missile represents both progress and peril. Progress because it pushes human engineering forward, peril because it compresses decision time in crisis. Defense planners everywhere must now account for threats that move too fast for existing systems. The FATA 2 story isn't just about a weapon, it's about a new era of military technology. As nations rush to develop, detect, and defend against hypersonic systems, one question looms large, can diplomacy keep pace with physics? The answer will shape global security in the years ahead. Until then, the FATA 2 stands as a reminder that speed, not size, now defines power. If you found this deep dive informative, don't forget to hit like, hey, subscribe, e, and turn on the notification bell, because here at Warpulse Media, we bring you the stories behind the headlines shaping our world's defense future. Drop your thoughts below. Do you think the FATA 2 truly changes the balance of power? Let's discuss it in the comments.